everybody. Dave here in the new to you fishing southern headquarters kitchen. Uh, we have some new audio capability for you. You'll enjoy that and I hope you also enjoy a spicy orange sauce on a crusted pompano this evening. Now it could be any white fish but uh, tonight we have pompano. We'll show you all the ingredients. We'll take you through the process and then at the end we'll do a taste test for you. So have a look. All right, let's go through the ingredients. Uh, of course, first and foremost, we have a beautiful pompano. This was about a uh, 12, 13 incher caught, uh, actually came out of the freezer because I have not caught one in the last couple of days. So we've got that. Uh, for our sauce, we're going to use key ingredient, uh, an orange. In this case, we've got a tangerine tonight. We're going to zest and juice that. We've got some garlic. We need a couple cloves. We've got some uh, honey, local honey. Always try to use local honey whenever you can. It's good for you. Uh, we've got some soy sauce and some crushed red pepper. That is going to be our primary ingredients for our sauce. Uh, we're then going to uh, bread and crust our fish. We're going to use uh, badia, but we're going to use the adobo version, not badia complete. And most of our other videos, we've used the uh, Badia Complete. Today, we're going to use the adobo. It has a nice citrus flavor to it, which will go well with our orange, spicy orange sauce. Cornstarch, uh, panko, and some standard breadcrumbs. We'll mix those all together. That'll be the crusting for our fish. Fry it in peanut oil, and uh, we'll use a little olive oil on the fish to coat it. That's all there is to it. Uh, there is a version of this that I have made that uses either some Grand Marnier or some triple sec. You can throw that in the pot when you're making the sauce. It's an optional ingredient. Uh, you do pretty much need these ingredients. You can substitute cayenne. Uh, if you don't have crushed red pepper, you could substitute some chili oil, uh, something spicy. Uh, it'll give it a little kick. All right, that's the ingredients, and let's uh, move to the next step. Let's begin with the fish and then uh, we'll make the sauce. So we're just going to drizzle a little olive oil on here. Uh, something to, uh, to get that to stick properly. Get those to stick. Toss these back and forth a few times. And then we'll go straight into our, uh, our coating, crusting. Press down nice and firm. Make sure they're well coated. We may fast forward through this part. You don't need to see me spend a lot of time crusting the fish. Our fish has been crusted. We've juiced our in this case, our tangerine, I have to put the, the zest in, which I pulled off before juicing. Watch out for tangerine zest, very powerful, much more powerful than the orange. Uh, we minced our garlic. Actually, I use a garlic press for this, that's in. And we are going to reduce this. We want to drive a little bit of the water out Make it a little more syrupy than you might otherwise expect. Uh, that's probably a quarter cup of juice out of that tangerine. We'll go in with some soy sauce. I'm going to say two tablespoons. Let's take some honey out of here and throw that in. Probably another uh, couple tablespoons. It may take some tweaking to get this just the way you like it with the spice versus the garlic versus the orange flavor. Don't lose the orange flavor. That's really one of the keys of making this. And uh, now comes the hot pepper. Let's go with uh, really not good on ingredients, to be honest with you. That's uh, probably a half a teaspoon of hot pepper. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the stove and we are going to start the reduction process for it. So 
So let's get that going. And we'll start stirring and reducing. And that should make a nice pungent orange sauce. If it's too thin, we may put a little uh, watered cornstarch in there to thicken it up a little, but let's see what we get after we reduce it. We've got our peanut oil ready. Uh, we just have to heat that up and then the pompano will drop in there and then we'll put the sauce right on it after it's all done. So give us a few minutes, we'll come back and uh, check the sauce, make sure it's ready to go. All right, let's take a quick check at our, our sauce. Here you can see it in the pan. Well, hopefully you can see it. We're still a little thin. So we're going to keep reducing, drive some of the water out of the juice, and uh, check it again in a, another minute or so. We'll do a check here. All right, I'd say our sauce is just about ready. We'll take a look at that. We've got some solids in there from when we juiced the tangerine. It's a nice consistency. That's about what we want. So that's that's ready. We're just going to let that stay warm on the stove and let's go now and take care of our fish. Pretty straightforward fish. We've got our crusting on. And drop the bigger pieces first. Those will take three to four minutes per side. And then we'll do a flip, let them finish. And then we'll plate. We have some nicely roasted potatoes this evening to go with it. So that'll be a nice company mint. And as usual, you don't need to watch us take care of the fish. So we may fast forward through this portion. Thinner pieces will go in right now. Let those cook up. It is time for our mid-meal, although for me it's the almost completed meal taste test. Uh, orange sauce, pompano, pineapple, roasted potatoes. Yes, I will get to my salad. Don't worry. Um, nice balance. You know, you need to think about what you like in your sauce. Do you want it more orangey? Do you want it more... Uh, Spicy, you want it with a little more tang of sweetness. That's something you need to work on. So maybe you need to try it, make it twice. But the the sauce that we made tonight, I think, is uh, perfect for what we've got. I'm going to throw a little more on the last piece of fish I have. And uh, any way you can, any way you want to enjoy this, you can. You just need to. Uh, tweak it a little bit for you. Everybody has a different taste flavor profile. So I'm very happy with this. It's going into the new to you fishing recipe archive. Uh, from my perspective, certainly. Uh, Joe Mama, is there anything you'd like to say about it tonight? Uh, yeah, I would. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think um, the accompaniment of the pineapple with the fish and the sauce, the salty, the sweet, wow, that was like over the top. And the oven roasted potatoes was different. We've had a lot of rice this past week, so we did oven roasted potatoes. So, and I really enjoyed it. You know, it was perfectly everything, the right amount of balance. So, good dish, good dish. You heard it here first. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to New To You Fishing. Thanks a lot. Good night.